Hello and welcome to episode three of WTF What the Food. Today I am very excited because right off the bat I'm seeing some kind of ice cream concoction. So that makes me really excited. Uh, this is an awesome show and if you like it, feel free to let me know in the comments or tell me what you like and also subscribe to the channel and come by for the live shows as well. It's on twitch.tv slash Janelle Wheeler every Friday at 4 p.m. Central. We talk about weird food. And you might see yourself in my YouTube videos. What the food? Let's kick this off. So the very first item we're talking about today is sweet corn ice cream with bacon caramel sauce. Why do you got to put bacon on everything? Okay. This frozen treat combines two Minnesota staples, corn and dairy, in a sweet new way. The bacon adds a smoky touch to the topping, making the syrup taste like salted caramel on crack. <laughs> Crisp corn pieces are optional, but given the caramel corn flavor they add, not to mention crunch, you'd be crazy to decline on a sprinkle or two. Guys, how are we feeling about this? read the title of this wine fried brie this yep oh yeah oh yeah okay imagine cheese curds for the napa valley crowd this is it gooey brie deep fries it infusing the crispy tempura batter with a light wine flavor and serves the cubes on a stick with a sweet yet spicy raspberry sauce talk about happy hour in and in and in and in and in and in 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 and in and in my belly in 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 my belly yeah Look at this. This looks terrible. Okay, Reuben, it just just read it. Pickle dogs quarters a jumbo pickle, then wraps it in a hearty layer of cream cheese, Thousand Island, sauerkraut, and pastrami for a low carb take on a Reuben. Would anyone want this? Because I feel like everyone is no so if there is like a singular person in the chat that is like yes put it in my mouth put it in my mouth, um that i would like to see that person please please come to the front of the room it just looks so wrong to me it looks like an uncircumcised bleep in editing say put a bleep there an uncircumcised bleep that's what it looks like to me or something. I don't really, or diseased bleep. I don't really know. It just looks really weird. Uh, it, it's just giving me really weird vibes. It's another fried one. Looks really good though, so I can't be too mad at it. Deep fried ribs. Oh no. Okay. At first, the name alone sounded blasphemous. Deep frying is for corn dogs and Oreos, not pricier dishes like ribs. But these are surprisingly light as far as battered dipped meats go. It's more like a crispy panko breading that locks in the juicy flavor. It also happens to look a lot like the epic meal that tipped Fred Flintstone's car in the old theme song. I love it in case eating a massive turkey leg doesn't make you feel prehistoric enough. I gotta try it. My mouth watered. It did. And I'm not even that big of a fan of ribs. I, I do love really good ribs. I'm from the South. A very slow cooked rib that is just falling off the bone with a sweet barbecue sauce. I do not like a vinegar based barbecue sauce. I like a sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. 
I am all about that life. I would have to try these just because I'm so freaking curious. I'm just curious. I've had so many different ribs in my life. Question is, are they are they baby back ribs? Because baby back ribs are the really, really tender, like yummy ones most of the time. We have a lot of people saying no. I feel like more people do not want this than do. Remember, this is all for fun. So imagine no consequences, no health consequences, and it's free. Would you eat it? Yes or no? Well, that concludes this week's episode of WTF What the Food. Again, one last time, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know if which, which is your favorite out of all of these foods that you've seen today. And make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash Janelle Wheeler. And join us for a live stream of this. It's every Friday at 4 p.m. Central. We get the party started. We move into this. And then sometimes we play some marbles or some group games after. So you won't regret it. And uh, I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.